Hey guys, Flip Talk, and today we're talking about one of the things I was most excited about this year. Mill Creek Entertainment announced that they got the license for the entire Ultraman franchise, which means, in my mind, that we would maybe get one a year, maybe two a year, but they are just going crazy with it. So right now, we just got Ultra Q on Blu-ray and Ultraman on Blu-ray. Now, these are available in standard uh, Blu-ray cases. Uh, the standard editions do have a mural that's going to connect on all the spines, and I believe it's just going to be for the classic series, just kind of like how they're doing with uh, the classic series are only getting steel books. I think Jeet and Orb are the two coming out next month, and then Ultra 7, which is the other classic series, is coming out in December. So these, I opted for the really nice steel book editions, as you can see right there. And let's take a look at these individually. So Ultra Q was the first, and it's a very, it kind of reminds me of X-Files in a way, I guess. Uh, but the Steelbook, as you can tell, has an embossed uh, cover right there. You got the Ultra Q, you got some of the Kaiju that are in there. You got the back right there. And then when you open it up, you got two discs in each slot. And these are actually really nice looking discs as well. And then each of the special editions, I don't know if it's standard, with the standard versions you get this as well. I believe you do, but this is the information and episode guide. So on the discs themselves, there is not any special features. But in this book, you get everything that you would actually want from a special feature. So um, for the next 30 minutes, your eyes will leave your body and arrive in this strange moment in time. So these are very well-designed books. You get a little bit of a history right there on Ultra Q and how it you know started and how it came to be and why it's very important and then you get an episode guide which is really nice actually you know you get a breakdown you get the writer of the episode you get the director of the episode it's really cool to see uh who wrote what and who directed what and then my favorite part of this is you get a monster guide that's right you get a guide to all the monsters that appear in the show which is kick ass because some of these Costume designs for the time were just incredible, especially this one. This one's really, really well detailed. I don't know if you guys see that. It's colossal, man. <laughs> um, and then you also get like a little bit of a character guide right here. Some of the people that, some of the characters that appear in the show. And then you, this is something I really think is really cool. They have a tech guide in both books. Uh, just kind of showing you the tech that appears in the show and why it appears in the show. Here's some more tech. Then you get a nice view right there in all red. And yeah, so I think Mill Creek guys have just, have absolutely knocked it out of the park. I have, they put out the Ultraman, uh, the first Ultraman series, which is right here. Uh, they put it out on DVD a while ago, and honestly, it was not the best uh, quality of release. They've also put out Iron King and Ultra Red Baron. I think I'm saying Ultra Red Baron right, I think the name is a little, but anyways, those felt like bootlegs when I got them. Uh, but these are, just they have stepped up, um, their quality as well. And for shows that are so old, um, I believe they were filmed on 38 millimeter. I, I know Ultra Q was, I'm not really sure about Ultra Man, um, but they were, but they look great. Mill Creek did a fantastic job. Uh, these look a lot better than the DVDs. And right here, here's the in information episode guide on Ultra Man. You know, again, you get the history of the series. You get a Hero profile, Ultraman, tells you his powers and everything. And I really hope they do this for every single uh, hero that's in all the series that they're going to be doing. Again, episode guide. And then I really like their monster profile in this. You get to it. Yeah, you know what I mean? You get, you know, the classic. And some of these are really cool because uh, they had access to um, all the stuff that God, like the team that made Godzilla. So I believe like that right there, for instance, is just Godzilla. One of these monsters is just Godzilla, and they just put a horn on it, and I'm pretty sure it's Gamora. Um, I could be wrong. But again, here it is right there. There is every single kaiju that appears in the show over the course of the episodes. And like right there, that's a classic villain right there. There's another, another one that's just absolutely ridiculous. And then again, another character thing, and then a nice little technology guide. And then we're going to take a look at this steel case right here. And yeah, I mean, this, I think these are six discs. Yeah, six discs. And again, guys, Mill Creek, 
seriously just absolutely knocked it out of the park on these. I am blown away. And when they announced that they got the license, like I said earlier, I was expecting maybe one, maybe two a year. But we but we just got these. Next month, I think we're getting Jeed and Orb. Uh, those are newer series. And then in December, we're getting the third of the classic series, which is Ultra 7, which out of the three... Ultra Q, Ultra Man, Ultra 7. I think Ultra 7 is the coolest one out of the three. And then by their, there's a flyer that got put out, like their release plans. And by the end of summer of 2020, we're going to have 13 Ultraman series on Blu-ray. So again, guys, that is just awesome. Go show Mill Creek some support and some love. I can't believe that we actually got these on Blu-ray. I can't believe we're going to have Jeezy and Orb next month on Blu-ray and then Ultra 7 on Blu-ray. Tokusatsu fans in the U.S. are being spoiled right now, especially Ultraman fans. I mean, as you guys can tell, I got the Ultraman uh, manga behind the Steel Books, and that is a phenomenal manga. I think it's one of my favorite ongoing series. Uh, the Netflix ad adaptation was hit or miss, and then now with this, being an Ultraman fan right now is just, it's the best time. And also just being a Tokusatsu fan in general is the best time because we got the Godzilla collection coming out at the end of the month. And then you got Message from Space and then uh, Just Being came out last month. It's just been a killer, killer uh, last couple months for Tokusatsu fans in the West. But let me know if you guys are picking this up. If you had to pick one, I would obviously go with Ultraman. Ultra Q is like, it's definitely not as good as Ultraman, but it's still really good. And these two shows are super super important i think you know obviously these aren't the first tokusatsu shows but i think they are the most important tokusatsu shows because this with with without these two and including ultra 7 we wouldn't have super sentai we wouldn't have common rider we wouldn't have any of the stuff that we have now power rangers all that if it wasn't for these three well these two that are out right now um i think these are very important and if you guys are even remotely a fan Go pick these up. These are extremely reasonably priced. I believe the steel books are twenty seven bucks, which is not bad at all. And then of course you can get them cheap on Best Buy or Amazon. So go support them, guys. Mill Creek deserves the love. They deserve the attention, and these deserve to be on your shelves. If you are an if you are a Tokusatsu fan, and if you're an otaku like myself, go pick these up. I highly highly recommend them. And expect a review of Ultraman at least. I'm going to make my wife watch this. I don't think she'll be able to sit through Ultra Q, but I think she would find some enjoyment in Ultraman. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see more tokusatsu reviews, more tokusatsu content, let me know. I would love to do that. It is another passion of mine that I want to start incorporating into the channel. But anyways, guys, I'm Flip Otaku, and I will see you guys next time.